Hi friends, uh, in this video, we'll discuss about the login page. So login page means just uh, we have the username and password. As a client side, I'll design the form, login form, uh, contains username and password. Cl click on login button. At server side, I'll write one server light, login server light. As a login server light, uh, get the data from login page. Get the data from login page, just like uh, get the username and password. Uh, check the some validation. If username dot equals of Durga, password dot equals of so on so on. I want to print a login success. Otherwise, I want to print a login failure message, right? So that is my requirement in this example. Okay. So anyway, to do the practicals, you use Eclipse ID. Uh, just open the Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID. The present version of Eclipse ID is the photon, right? Now, in your mission, we have the oxygen at least. Oxygen. So give the workspace. What is the workspace you want? In my F location, I want to create the login application. Login application example. Simply click on OK. Once the workspace is given, the workspace is loaded. Slowly, so in front of the video, uh, just take your laptop, do the practicals along with me. This better option, right? Good. The Eclipse is loading. So loading, loading. Then to write some file, let me open edit plus, in the edit plus, let me go with the Java. So my requirement is just I want print the login dot uh, login page, login dot HTML contains username and username text fail, simply can write the password, uh, click on simply login button. Whenever I click on login button, I want to execute servlet here, login servlet right login servlet dot class file I want to execute. So to provide the mapping between the login.html to login servlet as you know who will provide the mapping between the html to servlet so the file is called which file here app.xml file right so to develop your application we have to do the three steps actually the step number one login.html file step number two login servlet to provide the mapping we have to go with app.xml file but app.xml file no need to worries uh, app.xml file is automatically generated by eclipse id right that's all so open the eclipse id here so initially the open uh, eclipse ID is like this just to close the welcome thing good go to the file menu click on new so this is called jw eclipse id which one here jw jw means click on new you'll get the dynamic web project web services project uh, ejv project right like this one some cases when you download the eclipse id maybe you download jts eclipse id jts means core java right so to check that one, here the open prospect option is there. Just click on open prospect. Here the Java prospect is there, JW prospect is there. Maybe you downloaded Java prospect Eclipse ID. Once you click the Java, click on OK. Here you will get the Java Eclipse ID. Just check the difference here. Java Eclipse ID means go to the file menu, click on new. Here you will get the basic files, right? Here you will get the basic files. But you want to work with the servlets, right? To work with the servlets, you want Java Eclipse ID, JW Eclipse ID, yeah? JW. JW, right? You want JW Eclipse ID, right? That's it. Click on JW here. Uh, click on OK. Then what happened? This is called JW Eclipse ID or not? Just to go to the file menu, I want to create the project. To create the project, file menu, new. I want to create a dynamic web project. Dynamic web project, click on OK. Hmm? Dynamic web project, click on OK. It is asking project name. What is the project name here? Login app is my project name. Login app is the project name. Dynamic web model version. So we have the 3.1 up to. So the present version of servlet is servlet 4.0, right? So but here I will give one point. Eh? If you select the servlet 3.0 or 3.1, servlet 3.0 it supports annotations, right? Then the project is updated with the annotations. So but uh, first of all you don't know what is web.xml files, right? There is reason. Select the 2.5, the project is updated with the web.xml file. Once if you know web.xml file clearly, later we will update with the annotations, right? That's it. That is the reason I selected which version here? 2.5 version. What is the target runtime here? Once the server is there, here you will get the server actually. But the server is not configured, right? There is no server in here. Okay, so 2.5 I selected. Click on next button. So SRC folder is generated. Click on next. So web.xml file is generated or not. This is called login app file. Anyway, you will click on finish directly. Once you will click on finish, you will get the project here. In the project as usual, this is called web content is the main folder actually. 
which one is the main folder here web content is the main folder so in web content folder contains switch folder here web in a folder web in a folder contains lib folder and web.xml file here maybe you, you require the classes folder right the classes folder is nothing but java resources folder here we have to create the java resources have the point is all clear huh? this is called project folder this is the main folder web content folder web, web content folder we have web inf lib web.xml file right that's it huh? now what is my requirement here yeah? first of all let me design uh, login.html file right good i hope you know where we have to create a login.html files html files we have to create inside web, web content folder this is called web content folder right just right click here click on new mm, click on new you want to go with the uh, html file right just click on html so click on html so what the file i want here login.html file right click on enter then which file will get here login some basic file right i want to increase the font size increasing font size also one big task here in eclipse id how to increase windows preferences so here directly you can type the font you can type the font here general appearance colors and fonts so you can go with the basic font in the basic font text font you can go with editor text font editor uh, so bold italic i want just i want 14 just click on ok click on ok visible right clear that's it uh, so here in the header part inside the title here in the header part just i want this is my login page right oh, this is my login page uh, we are the java developers here our main focus on servlets not on html code basic html code you can write what to design the login page right that's it uh, as you know basic html code let me maximize double click just uh, maximize here just first of all i want write the form page form either equal to so my form either equal to get or post you can specify what is the de default request type here get request is the default request type right that's it form either equal to get next one is the chat attribute here action attribute action equal to dot represent current working directory slash url pattern is always starts with the slash right login server right Yes or no, yeah? Login servlet, right? Just to close the form. That's it. Yeah. Form tag method attribute here. Yeah. It is used to specify which type of request your browser is generating. Action tag URL pattern. It is providing the mapping between this URL pattern only provides the mapping between your HTML file to the corresponding servlet. Yeah. Then tell me here yeah, what the next one here. We have the username, right? Username means uh, input to type equal to text. Simply can write that this is called logical name here. This logical name is also important. If you want a break tag, simply can write the break tag here. Control goes next line. Next one is user password. Whatever the user password here. Yeah? User password visible mode or invisible mode. Invisible mode means input type equal to password. Name equal to name equal to user password. Right? UPWD. If you want break, you can go with the break tag. The last one is I want to login button, right? To create the button, hmm. input, uh, tell me, uh, input type equal to submit, right? Input type equal submit, tell me value equal to simply can write the login, that's all. Yes, no, I hope this is basic HTML page, right? In this example, in this form page, you have to focus on three steps, three points. What are the three points, sir? Uh? Form tag method attribute. It is used to specify which type of request you are generating from browser window. The second one, action tag URL pattern. This is only providing the mapping between your login file to HTML file to server letter. This is called logical name, right? That's all guys. Now with this, your which one? Form page is ready. So once the form page is ready, the second step is, what is the second step here? Create the server letter. Create the server letter, right? To create the servlet, go to the Java Resources folder. In the Java Resources folder, uh, you can take SRC folder, right? SRC, right click, click on new. I want servlet. Just click on servlet. Um, what is the package name here? Any package you can give, com.dss. Okay, class name. What is the class name here? Login servlet is my class name. Yes, sir. What is the predefined subclass here? HDF servlet, right? I'm using third approach. Click on next button, URL mapping. By default, class name is taken as URL pattern. So we no need to generate web.xml file. Web.xml file is automatically generated. By default, class name is taken as a URL pattern, right? That's it. 
click on next button so by default method how many methods are overriding here do get and do post right just click on finish then solid is ready here so no yeah but in the form page you specify which request here get request right we specify which request uh, get request or not then we have to override which method here get method can you please override which method here get method i don't want post method the difference between the get and post in next video we'll discuss here yeah? next class we'll discuss that's all but it's showing error messages right because predefined support as you know solid predefined support solid predefined support in the form of the jar file right what is jar file name sorlet hyphen api dot jar just can you please build for the jar file how to build for the jar file tell me just right click on my pro application hmm. right click on application build path configure build path come on here in the video we are discussing these all the points it means uh, slowly we can pause the video and we can move forward and backward we can do the build path operations and all right slowly we can do the operations libraries add external jars which jar you want here local disk c program files apache foundation 8.5 lib folder right lib folder what a jar file name here sorlet hyphen api dot jar this is my jar file just to click on open click on ok then errors will be rectified so no this is called outline here just outline nothing but which package which class which methods we have it's showing complete outline remove that outline and task list not required that's all so then we have to override which method here do get method the do get method what is my requirement just i want to get the data and process the data right before get the data first of all i have to specify the general settings what are general settings tell me uh, my servlets which type of response i am generating here to specify which type of response i am generating as a servlet we have this method name is called which method here response dot hmm, response dot the method name is called set content type which type here either text data or html data i am sending the default content type is a text slash html only if you are not specifying anything no problem the default type is this one next point is we have to add some response in response object here initially response object is dummy object right we have to add the response in response object to add the response in response object we require which object here print write object don't write the complete word here in eclipse id always write two three characters control space you will get print write so space here don't take the variables like this don't write manually just to print writer space you can write the control space when you type the control space eclipse it will give the suggestion then simply can go to the writer print write writer equal to response data the method name is called get writer these two two lines are common for every application here every server later as a server late which type of response i'm generating text slash html then what is the purpose of uh, print writer object here to add some response into response object that response object will reach to the client browser right that response object will reach to the client browser right that's all general settings are ready then read the data from form page how to read the data from form page yeah? whenever you are clicking login button this username password will be stored in the request object actually which is stored in which object here yeah? request object right the details which is coming from the client side those all the details are stored in which object here request object from the request object you want to get the data to get the data request dot the method name is called get parameter request dot get parameter of i want to get which data here username then simply here give the logical name you name is logical name so no yeah just your name is the logical name right that's it simply can write the string username right that's all store the data simply okay next one is uh, next one is request data uh, get parameter of we request that get parameter of user password or not user password so no yeah user password then store the data the string user password right that's all you can take any variable name here okay and i will give one note point here note 1 i will give one note point here note 1 observe carefully this is mandatory entry question here entry question 1 the details which is coming from the client side 
the data which is coming from client side the data is always string formatted data see from the client side we are getting age age is generally 21 right but uh, age is also which format data here by default here string data the form page data is always which data here hmm. the form page data is always always which data here string data this is a point number one the data which is coming from the client side the data is always which data here string data right that's all guys that is the reason i am storing the string username string password right that's all reading the data is done here once the reading data is ready then you can check just if condition if username dot equals of druga username dot equals of druga and user password dot equals of Ratan. If both are success, both are success. I want to display the message login success. I want to display the message means I have to add my response into response object because that response object only reach to the client browser, right? The response object only reach to the client browser. Then to add the response into response object, which object we have to use here? Writer object, print writer object. Then how how to add the data here? Writer dot print and off. Hmm. Simply can print the message login success. If you want, you can print the username. Sir, no, yeah? this is called which message here? Yeah? Writer dot print and means we are writing your data to the response object. That's it. Simply can make the else block. In the else block, I want print just login failure message. Writer dot hmm, writer dot. So writer data simply can write the print line off. Simply can write the message is called which one? Login fail. Login fail, right? That's it. If you want print username, you can print it. Login fail so on so name, right? That's all guys. This is my just basic operations regarding your login server later. Here just to what I'm doing here. I have one login.html file contains username and password as a login servlet just to read the data just to check if if else conditions print login success or login failure message yes or no yeah? hmm? that's all then sir show me the web.xml file once where is web.xml file here yeah? in web content folder web inf web.xml you can go with the source here this is called source yeah? so description display name these are title tags yeah? those are not required so mainly every sorlet you can configure by using two tags i said what are two tags sorlet tag and sorlet mapping tag right what is the url pattern here i'm, I'm explaining the flow of execution check the flow of execution when i click the login button when i click the login button login sorlet url pattern goes to server side in the server side in check in web.xml file login sorlet slash login sorlet both are matched or not both are matched what is the logical name for this one here this is called logical name with that logical name which servlet is there this logical name this logical name both are matched or not matched matched with that logical name which servlet is there here com.dss.login servlet right this file will be executed yes or no yeah? that file will be executed or not repeating flow of execution once again check it when i click the login button login servlet action tag url pattern goes to server side in the server side web dead xml file url pattern url pattern both are matched once it matched what is the logical name here login servlet with that logical name which servlet is there com.dss.login servlet or not that's it clear huh? hmm? that's all guys example is done simply can run this code how to run this code here so here to run the application right click on the project run as run on server but in my system, any server is configured previously? No. In front of you, I'll configure server here. Because some students are facing the problems regarding configuration of server, right? So initial here to configure the server, Apache. Apache. In my system, we have the 8.5. Just click on 8.5. If you have the 8th version, click on 9th version. 8th version, 8th version you can click. But don't choose the 7th and 6th versions here. Forget about the 6th and 7th version. Start with 8 version onwards practical. 8 or 8.5 or 9. Just to select the version, which version you installed. Click on next. Uh, Tomcat initialization directory. But the directory has simply how to browse it. 
browse the directory this pc tell me uh, this pc where is your location local disk c program files apache foundation up to root folder tomcat 8.5 up to root folder you have to select click on ok you just to select the up to root folder right tomcat 8.5 that's all simply click on finish here. then server is configured here if you have the internet connection it is uh, taking some data otherwise not required optional data user operation is waiting adding repository downloading some jboss tool updates and uh, just to close it no problem just hello access then server is started in below, below you can check this com console the console is nothing but server console this is called server console okay so here i'm using protocol port number hdb port number right hdb nio the port number is 9999 this is called server startup here once the server is started browser is open right automatically this is called browser this is called url pattern this is all about the url pattern right as any url pattern this is called protocol this is called ip address server ip address so here local host means that a uh, server is there with my machine only right local host but in the project level we have the ip address this is called port number login app is my project name in the project name here i have to access the resource uh, the project name which file i want here login.html file right it's somewhere login.html file i am not focus on mail and html here center tags body tags colors we are not html developers we are java developers right that's it so we'll focus on username what the username here give the valid credentials valid credentials means durga and ratan right uh, simply let me give durga and let me give the ratan click on login you get the login success or not you will get a message here login success right good otherwise give some invalid message uh, some unnecessary data login fail message or not yes or no yeah that's all login success or login fail clear huh? that's all guys the basic operation regard login file so in front of the video don't waste the time here take your laptop and do the practicals parallelly then you'll get the more clarity right that's it but here in this example i'll give three conclusions actually the conclusion number one is note one is already done the data which is coming from form page the data is always which data yeah? string data okay note two coming to the note two here see for example here i'm calling login.html only here but the file name here login.html file i'm launching here see for example while reading the data so while reading the username we have to give the text field logical name right logical name is you name or not here we have to give the logical name but unfortunately like in the wrong logical name then what happened then what happened if you give the wrong logical name then we'll get error message or we'll get exception what do you will get question is clear huh? there is a question actually what note to what the note to form page i have the logical name to read the data i have to give the form page logical names actually but i gave the logical means wrong once you will get the logical names are wrong then what happened you will get any exceptions or you will get any errors so the question the answer is simple answer if the logical names are wrong we never get any exception errors here so simply you will get the null value so we we never get the exception errors here simply it returns which value null value it returns string data string data right string data means it returns a default value what's the default value of this string uh, null right it returns a null value so if the logical names are wrong we never get any error messages and all you will get simply null value sir no error good simply you can write the message here return anu, anu. simply click on login do not happen here you have to check exception here null point exception then sir why we are getting null point exception what is the reason here null point exception so now we are taking the logical name is wrong uh, logical name wrong means your username is null right 
on the null we are checking username dot equals of durga or not null dot equals of durga on the null we are trying to do the operations or not you will get null point exception yes or no yeah on the null we are trying to get the uh, operations you are trying to do the operations whenever you are trying to do the operation you will get to check exception null point exception otherwise return store show me clearly what is the null value make this code inside the comments here control shift slash okay control shift slash just print this message writer dot print line of just i want print u name i will just i want write u name plus just i want write a user password right just i'm printing the data now here logical name is wrong logical name is wrong means you'll get which value here null value yes or no null value go back just refresh once you enter the data click on login so first one you can check it which value are getting here here null value or not previously on the null value we are trying to do the operations you will get which exception null point exception but here i'm not doing any operation just i'm i'm printing the data whenever you are printing the data you will get null value or not that is the note number two what is the note number two here if the logical names are wrong always you will get which one here just a default value of the string or a default value are null if the point is clear right hmm that's all clear huh? and point number three so we'll think about welcome file list here we'll think about which one welcome files what do you mean welcome file here the first page of the publication is called welcome file with the first page of the web application is called welcome file right good see for example this is my login application here we have the login that html login servlet login servlet is getting the data processing the data you have the web, web, web xml file is there okay let me run this code right click on the project run as uh, run on server click on next finish restart server you can restart it no problem then what happened here initially you will get the 404 error message right then we have to call that login at html file or not then only the login at html file is displayed yes or no eh? but that process recommended process not recommended process sir not recommended right when you type the www.gmail.com you will get the 404 error right? directly you will get the login page directly you will get the login page right because login page is the first page of the gmail application right in the same way i this is login.html file is my first page of the publication or not that is called welcome file here yeah. the first page of the web application is called a welcome file right so in web.xml file can you please configure that welcome file yeah. these are called some default welcome files here yeah. i don't want default welcome files i want my own welcome file yeah. simply what is my welcome file name here login.html right that's it yeah. we have to configure the welcome files in web.xml file only after configuring welcome file yeah, simply right click on project run as run on server click on finish restart server you can restart it no problem then you can check previously without welcome file what happened you will get the 404 error right after i'm setting welcome file then what happened here directly you will get the welcome file or not so you're getting an error, error message no then this approach is recommended right so no yeah good so finally decided the first page of the web, web application that is called welcome file so configure the welcome file in which file here in web.xml file sir no that's all guys that's all about your note number how much note number 3 what is the note one here the data which is coming from form page the data is always which data string data note two the logical names are wrong uh, if the logical names are wrong what you will get is simply null value you will get we never get the exception errors you will get null value but previously get null point exception means on that null we are trying to do the operation that is the reason you will get a null point exception note number three what is note number three here welcome file what is welcome file the first page of the web application is called a welcome file sir no here the first page of the publication is called a welcome file so next application onwards always try to configure the welcome file here every time uh, we will get the 404 error once again you are calling login at html form at html file not recommended right always you have to configure welcome file list 
clear so that's all guys this is all about your login page with three important entry questions mandatory questions are these three are points are clear any doubts hmm? i will check i will show all the coding part you can check it once this is called your login.html file hmm? this is called your login.html file right once the login.html file is ready the corresponding servlet what is servlet here login servlet dot class file so login servlet dot java file here hmm? just i'm copying the code that's it this is login servlet just checking the username and password right that's all the last one is you have required the update xml file update xml file obviously contains only one servlet configuration right one servlet means one servlet tag one servlet mapping tag that's all clear that's all guys hmm? so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching you can please like the video and comment the video and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates so frequent we are doing uploading operation hmm? thank you guys bye